Usually when, when Kevin and I, right, Kevin, right? Well, usually when Kevin and I <laughs> go out to a guest dive shop in order to do some of our videos, because if you've been watching my videos at all, you know that I go to dive stores all over, all over. The place. And I came across, what the heck is this? It says DNA. I know what DNA is. What's that got to do with scuba diving? This is actually from divesoft.com. Uh, uh, Kevin will put up a thing there. And some nice little hard, very, very tough little padded case. This is simply an oxygen analyzer, <coughs> an O2 analyzer. So you folks that are into uh, nitrox, and that's more than a few, <laughs> trust me, it, it is or was at one time anyway, and perhaps still is, uh, Patty's most popular specialty program. And uh, many, many reasons. Go to your local dive store and ask many, many reasons why uh, divers today uh, should be considering taking uh, uh, an enriched air specialty course, other than just learning about it. But if you're into nitrox, one of the things that you have to have is an oxygen analyzer. So you go to your local dive store and, hey, listen, I need 32%. And usually what he will do is he will analyze the air that's in your tank already, check the pressure, and then he will fill it, right? And at the end of that process, he will hand it to you and say, there you go, 32% mix in your tank, filled to 3,000 PSI. How do you know it's 32%? Unless he actually allowed you to get involved in the analyzing process. Some do, some don't or unless you have your own analyzer, you don't know for sure. So you grab your analyzer and then you go, some, some divers take it on board the boat. Because some dive boats that are into, uh, in, into uh, uh, modern forms of tech and recreational diving have, um, have uh, compressors and air supplies on board, including mixes. So it's good to have your own analyzer. And this is a great little super protective bag. You can stick that in your dive bag, it'll last forever. Now the reason, there's another reason why I'm promoting this particular one. If you go back in my uh, videos, you'll see that we have talked about oxygen analyzers before. And in, that, in those videos, I showed you a particular example. It happened to be one called the Analox 2, and it was very, very popular, but unfortunately it's not available anymore. So I thought this was a good opportunity to mention the new DNA. Comes in a great padded box, comes with a lanyard, comes with a, a, a carabiner. So you hook a carabiner on here. There's a place to hook a carabiner right there, carabiner. So you can attach it to your dive bag inside, outside, whatever you want. And really, quite frankly, it's the easiest thing in the world. All you need to do, this is all in the instructions, of course, is open the end. <clears throat> and uh, as, uh, as uh, Kevin pointed out a little while ago, once you open the end, <clears throat> then you uh, insert the battery, which is included, a little battery out the battery in there, and then <clears throat> when you're ready, not before, because these do expire, you insert the actual sensor. This is the Analox sensor, sensor type 22 for a dive soft. And yeah, these are readily available. In fact, <clears throat> generally speaking, you don't necessarily, I don't know, but you don't necessarily have to have a dive soft sensor. This, this particular sensor I don't think it's made by Divesoft, it's made by a sensor company. <laughs> and you can often find these <clears throat> uh, uh, available online or elsewhere at your local dive store uh, as a sensor. And you put the new sensor in and you're all set to go. How does it work? It's really very simple. Very, very simple. There's a hole in the end. And all you have to do is get some of the air from your tank, from your mix, into that hole. Which you can do by turning the valve on gently. And now you know a lot of force coming out of there. Just steady flow of air, put that hole up against the, the, the discharge hole of your tank valve and hold it there. All of this is in the instructions. This is really a very simple process. Now, if you want to, you can also pick up, here's another, these are cheap too, 10 bucks. You can, you can pick up this little sensor, which is a very common, very common type of sensor, and that plugs into that hole, O-ring sealed, okay, like so, and then it has a much smaller hole. And you can put this right against the valve opening, turning on air on very, very, very gently, very gently. And you don't waste as much of your mix. With it. Without using this, it's a big hole, and there's a fair bit of air coming out. You may actually lose a couple of hundred PSI of air before the sensor gives you its reading. And they're about the same price as the old analogs, too. A couple of $300 in that area. It depends where you buy it, of course. But they're extremely compact, very rough. Now, one of the nicest things about this is you notice that there's no display on here. There's no light, no flashing, there's no, no readout, no display. Unlike the analogs, 
so, so how do you know what the mix is? It's really very simple. Your phone, <laughs> your smartphone. That's why it's called the smartphone. You punch in the die soft DNA, hit, just hit the button. Just hit the button, the app opens, turn this on, shh, and the phone says, 32, go diving. That's why it's called a smartphone. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty slick, okay? Very compact, extremely good protection for it. Everything's included, ready to go, reasonable price for oxygen analyzers, and reads right off your app on your phone. Can't go wrong. Okay, guys, little tip for you. Might save you some time, some aggravation, and we're out of here. Alec Pierce.